Another question we get at uh, Popular Photography Magazine uh, is how to take great wildlife photographs. And obviously with great wildlife photographs, the key is great locations where there is great wildlife. You can always go to your local zoo uh, and get some great wildlife photographs there. If you're gonna do that, or if you're gonna go out to the Sahara or, or wherever, uh, it's important to be prepared. In both cases, you're gonna to wanna to have telephoto lenses uh, for two reasons. One, you're gonna be pretty far away, whether you're in the zoo or you're in the African jungle. But if you are actually out on safari somewhere, you're gonna to wanna to be far enough away uh, that you're gonna keep yourself out of danger. Another thing that's important to remember, uh, just from having talked to a lot of wildlife photographers, uh, especially if you're going out into the natural world, it's important to have a guide with you, somebody who knows the ropes, somebody who's gonna know what's safe and what's not. Wildlife photography is really a waiting game as well. You talk to any National Geographic photographer, they'll tell you that they might spend three months sitting outdoors waiting for the perfect shot of a butterfly landing on a flower. And that's really kind of the beauty of it, is it takes time and it takes commitment uh, and it takes a lot of dedication and that's what makes it really fun. We recently did a big interview with a bird photographer and he said the same exact thing. It's the time out there, the time that you're not getting these great photographs that makes those photographs just so much more worthwhile. Another important thing to remember with wildlife photography is you know, wild, wild animals uh, act very similar, similarly to human beings. I think a great wildlife photo is a photograph that humanizes uh, these, you know, beasts of the outdoors and kind of just gives them this, this relatable quality. And if you can capture that, then you're a pretty good wildlife photographer.